When we look at the extent to which people are under pressure in their work, there actually appears to be an increase. So work intensity is on, has been on the increase uh, over the last 20 years. It does seem that the increase has slightly leveled off between 2005 and 2010. Now it may have uh, stabilized, but at a high level. And I'm amazed to see that um, to some extent, a lot of us have managed to work with it. But we all know that work intensity um, will have a negative impact on your health. And yet, you know, there seems to be a capacity for us to work with it, for work systems to make us work faster. We have this objective in uh, European policy, but also in all, you know, this is translated into our national policy, that most of us should be at work. We think that work is a um, it's good for us, it's important for our identity and it's good for the economy. And yet, you know, we are um, having this work intensity um, developing, which means that a number of people will not be able to sustain the work intensity and they will have to let go or to find other jobs. And this is where I think we're reaching a, a paradox. You know, we want more people into work, yet we ask them to work faster. And it's going to be difficult for certain groups of workers to uh, live with, uh, to work uh, with such uh, work intensity. Experiencing greater work intensity, working at high speed or working to tight deadlines has a strong negative impact on workers' well-being, especially where workers have little autonomy. To find out more about the European Working Conditions Survey, go to www.eurofound.europa.eu.